Hello everyone, it's Tracy. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today, I'm doing the assembly tutorial for the elegant bowl with a lid. This project has been designed by Nicole Silhouette here on YouTube, and I shall link her YouTube channel in the description box below. The elegant bowl with a lid is available as a cutting die set in the KLJUYP Lovers store, and it's also available as a digital cutting file in Nicole's Etsy store. And I shall link those in the description box below. So we'll get started, and for today's tutorial, I have used the digital cutting file, and I have all my pieces cut out, and I'll show them to you now. So I have two piles of pieces here. The pile on my left is the pieces that make up the lid and the pile on the right make up the pieces for the bowl. I also have the decorative panels here. I've got some cut in white and some cut in patterned paper. The patterned paper you would recognise, it's one of my favourite sheets of patterned paper. I'm down to the last one, so I thought I would use it for this elegant bowl. The pieces on the right here are cut in white, and that is for the inside of the bowl. It covers up all the tabs on the inside because I like that look. You do not have to do that if you do not wish to. You don't have to put the decorative layers on the inside of your project. It does just finish it off nicely, covering the glue tabs, etc. So we'll get started and we'll work on the lid. This is the main piece of the lid here and you can see I've gone ahead and folded along the score lines of those glue tabs and also put the double-sided adhesive tape onto the glue tabs. This next piece here, you'll need eight of these. This is an octagonal shaped project. So you can see that I've folded along the score lines here, also on the glue tabs, and I've put the double-sided adhesive tape onto the glue tabs. So you'll go ahead and you'll do that on all of your eight pieces, as I'm showing here. Then we have the handle of the bowl, and it's made up of this octagonal piece, and also this one here. And you can see I've folded along the score lines on this piece also and put the double-sided adhesive on the glue tabs. The smaller tabs are on the bottom and the larger tabs are at the top. Next up we'll talk about the pieces that make up the actual bowl. There's this large octagonal piece here, that's the base. And there are eight of these side pieces. And you can see I've folded along the score lines and put double-sided tape onto the glue tabs. As I'm indicating here. There are several fold lines on this piece and I'm going to go through the way that you fold them. The top score line is a mountain fold, as is the next one and the next one. The second last one is a valley fold folds inwards towards you and then the bottom very last fold where the glue tab is is another mountain fold and the glue tabs on the sides fold in as well so I'll go through that again one more time the first three are a mountain the fourth one is a valley and the last one is a mountain fold and you'll do that to all of your eight side pieces of your bowl. So we'll work now on putting the bowl together. And I've got the bowl pieces here. I'm going to put the base to the side for the time being and work on putting these side pieces together. And I'm going to remove the backings off the adhesive of all the tabs on the left hand side of, the, of this first piece. Once I've done that, I'm getting one of the other side pieces and I'm going to join it to its neighbour. Taking care to line these pieces up as precisely as I can, as well as creating the shape that it needs. Now you can see here that I've started off down at the bottom of the bowl and working my way up to the top. I do change this whilst I'm going through this tutorial. And I found that it was easier to start at the actual top of the bowl, the top lip. And that top lip of this particular bowl is a little bit tricky to manoeuvre around to the shape that you need it to be. It's that first glue tab at the top that is tricky to bend around so that it adheres to the underneath side properly. But hang in there, you'll get it. Just take your time and be as precise as you can. 
you may need to fold that top tab outwards a little bit first. So I'm going to join the next piece on. This piece I'm also joining from the bottom up. Just taking care to align these pieces and also creating the shape of this bowl. And it's getting that very top tab fastened that's a little bit tricky. But this is only paper and it will bend to the way you want it. You just need to take a little bit of care and have a little bit of patience. It also would be easier to use glue for adhering this part together because then you've got the wriggle room. So I'm moving on to the next piece and you can see I've started at the top this time just to see if it works a little bit easier for me. So I'm just removing the backings off there and I'm just adjoining that first because that top score line folds down and this is why it's a little bit tricky. And I do find that this actually works a little bit easier starting from the top because then the other tabs just seem to fall into place. So you can do it however you like, whatever makes it easier. So I'm just going to do the next pieces. Starting at the top there, tucking it in under that lip, bending it around. And then forming the shape as I'm going down. I'm only using double sided tape for the tutorial because it's a little bit easier and quicker and I don't have to wait for glue to dry. So I would recommend using glue when you're putting this together. So I'm just working my way now, putting the other side pieces on. The hardest part is, is getting that top lip right. But as this comes together, you will see how it is supposed to be. And I'm sure once you get the first few pieces into place on your bowl, it will come together nicely for you. And I know I sound like a broken record, but just take your time and be as precise as you can. So just getting these last two side pieces in, and then we'll join the bowl shape together. You can see there that I'm just making sure that little tab on the underneath side is getting good adherence underneath. Just getting this last one on, using my pokey tool to assist me. That's been the best thing I've ever bought, that pokey tool. I use it for so much when I'm putting my 3D projects together. It gets used on every project and it's never far away from my hands. So I'm just going to join the bowl shape up now. And I'm going to just start with these larger areas first. Making sure they're lined up nicely and then I'll go back to these smaller tabs. And just making sure they're sticking well to that underneath side. Now don't worry when you're putting your bowl together at this point that you think it looks a bit wonky. It will look a bit that way until you get the base on. And I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to remove the backings of these glue tabs that are down the bottom of the bowl. And I'm going to put the base into place. And I'm going to start off, I'm going to put one tab adhered first. Then I'm going to jump over to the opposite side and get another tab affixed. And this ensures that this base goes on as lined up as possible. It's a little trick I learned over the years, as I've said before. Then you can go around and glue the other tabs to the base. And when I flip it over, you can see that it's pulled that bowl into a nice shape, that octagonal shape. And I'm happy with how that's looking. So I'm going to bring in the decorative panels that I've cut from white because I'm going to cover up the glue tabs on the inside of that bowl. You don't have to do it, of course, if you do not wish to. It's entirely up to you. I personally just like the look of it. 
It's a nice finished look on the inside of my project. So I'm just sticking the layer on the bottom on the inside. This piece here, it may or may not be in the die set. I'm not 100% sure. If it's not, there are other pieces that you could use to put on the inside here, and I'll show you those in a moment. But this piece here from the digital cutting file does actually fit on this inside edge where I'm applying the glue. So I'm just going to fiddle around and stick that in underneath. It's actually the decorative layer that goes on that top area that's facing up towards the camera now. But if it's not in the die set, don't worry, there are other pieces you can use. As I said before, I'll show you those in a moment. So I'm just pressing that piece into place along that inside ledge and then I'm moving on to the next pieces. If you were going to give this bowl as a gift to somebody, I would definitely put in the extra work of cutting out more decorative panels and putting them on the inside. It finishes it off very nicely indeed. These are the same panels that go on the outside of the bowl. And they all fit perfectly. It also adds strength to the bowl when you're putting these extra layers on the inside and then you're putting another layer on the outside. It's going to add strength and integrity to your project, which is always good considering what we are making is only made from paper. Now, as I mentioned earlier, if in your die set you do not get this large octagonal piece for your decorative panel, there are these smaller pieces included in the die set that you can use instead. So I'm just finishing off here, putting in these last decorative panels. And this is the spot just under the lip of the bowl. You probably wouldn't need to worry about putting the decorative panels under here, but I thought I would do it anyway. And it is going to add strength to the bowl. So I'm just getting them into position using my pokey tool to help push them into place. Just getting these last ones in. And here is the bowl all nicely layered on the inside. There are no glue tabs visible and it's nicely finished off and has extra strength. So just giving you a good look around the inside of the bowl there before moving on to the next part of the tutorial. So we'll move on now to putting together the lid and I've got all the pieces here. And to begin with, we're going to start by putting the side pieces together. I'm just going to remove the backings off the adhesive and join each piece to its neighbour like so, forming the shape of the lid as I'm going. And I'll work my way around until I have joined all eight pieces together. As I'm showing here. And then I'll join the shape up. So that we've got our octagonal piece that looks like this. Next, we're going to join the top onto those side pieces. And I'm going to do that by taking the adhesive off the glue tabs on all of these glue tabs on this lid piece or top piece, I should say. And once I've got the backings off the glue tabs, I'm going to do the same as what I did for the bowl. And I'm going to take one glue tab and affix it first, then swap over to the opposite side to get that one into place. And as I said before, this makes sure that these pieces go together aligned nicely without being wonky. And then I'm going to go around and make sure all of the other glue tabs are affixed in place as precisely as I can. I did have one area that did give me a little bit of trouble and I did have to peel it back with my pokey tool and then affix it with some glue, but that was easy enough done. And you can see me dealing with that here. And I thought I would leave this in just so that you can see that things don't always go to plan for me either. So I'm just making sure that I'm happy with my repair here and making sure all these glue tabs are in place nicely before moving on. 
and you can see our lid taking shape nicely. Before we put the handle in place, which goes in that hole in the center there, it's a really good idea to put this decorative panel into place first. If you don't do it now, you won't get a chance to once the handle is on as you won't get it over the top of the handle without having to cut the decorative panel so that it will go around that handle, which you can still do if you'd like. It's no big deal if you have to do that, but this is a good way to work around it is to put the decorative panel in place now and then put the handle on. So putting together the handle, we're going to join this piece together. I'm showing you here the smaller tabs are on the bottom and the larger tabs are on the top. And to begin with, we're going to remove the backings off the tabs on the top, the larger ones. And we're going to join that octagon piece that's just above my right hand onto those larger glue tabs. And just like before, I'm going to attach the octagon to one tab to begin with. And then I'm pushing these ones out of the way or pushing them down, sorry because I've got double-sided tape they want to grab. So I'm just pushing them down a bit further. And then I'm going to adhere from the opposite side to what I just glued down. It's a little bit more fiddly with this smaller handle and it would be better to use glue for this particular part of the tutorial. Just using my pokey tool to assist me here, making sure things are lined up nicely. And then I'll press down from the inside of the handle, making sure that all those glue tabs are stuck down. Just making sure those tabs are stuck down. Now these smaller tabs here, I'm just pushing them in so that they'll fit through this hole in the top of the lid. And once we've got that through there, I'm going to take the backings off just one of those glue tabs on the handle. It's a little bit of a juggle here. I'll get one affixed to the underneath side of the lid there. Then I'll go over to the opposite side and take the backings off one of those tabs. Same reasoning as before. This will make sure that the handle is positioned accurately and as precisely as it can be. Then I'll go around taking the backings one by one off the other tabs and sticking them down. This ensures that the handle will go into place nice and straight and even and it won't be wonky. So just getting them all in place and checking it from the outside as well to make sure that I'm happy with the positioning. And that's how it should look. So I'm going to go ahead now and put some decorative panels on the inside of this lid. The same as what I did for the bowl. Starting off with this octagon piece, getting that into position. And I've got all the other pieces here. I'm going to put them in. This, as I said before, covers up the glue tabs and makes it look nice and finished on the underneath side. It is optional. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. So I went ahead and finished off putting the decorative panels on the inside of the lid and you can see that that's looking all nice and finished off with no glue tabs visible. And the lid fits onto the bowl just perfectly. I'll just show you there, there's no issues with that lid going on that bowl whatsoever. So I'm going to go ahead now off camera and finish decorating and putting the other outside decorative panels onto this bowl and lid. So I've got my finished elegant bowl and lid here. All the decorative panels are in place on the outside of the lid and the bowl. I've just put some pearls around the top there. I've kept the decoration fairly simple on this bowl because I like the paper so much and I don't want anything to take away from that paper. So just giving you a good look inside. There's no glue tabs visible on either the lid nor the bowl. And I could totally see this bowl being decorated in masculine colours and papers as well. It is a shape that you could easily get away with giving this to a guy with some chocolates in it for Father's Day or something like that. 
and I would love to see the versions that you guys make. So don't forget to post pictures on Nicole's Facebook group. I shall put a link in the description box below. You can also tag her on Instagram. Her Instagram handle is at Nicole's Paper Crafts. Of course, I'd love to see too. My Instagram is at TF's Paper Crafts if you'd like to tag me too. So that's my tutorial finished for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching and that you feel inspired to make one of these elegant bowls with a lid. Don't forget to check the description box down below for the links that I have previously mentioned. And if you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would really love that too. Thanks very much for watching today. Have a great day and until next time, it's bye for now.